We find this utterly ridiculous. The Hermans were looking forward to a pretty comfortable retirement until last December and a six-figure tax bill. As you know, a lot of Canadians use their small corporations for pension funds, and that's precisely what we used it for, and this would basically gut it. We're going to have to keep working until such time as we're out of this mess. Biggest reform of all time. It's all because of President Trump's Tax Cuts and Jobs Act signed in December. The law was aimed at multinational corporations that have for years tried to park their profits overseas to avoid U.S. taxes. Now the government wants them to pay up. My interpretation, as good as anybody's, is that they're, after, uh, they're really looking to big businesses. Um, there's, there's huge businesses in the U.S., notably Apple Computer, that had a lot of money offshore and they wanted a way to bring it back into the U.S. But it's ended up hitting thousands of independent business owners living in Canada who are dual or U.S. citizens, people like the Hermans, and action, action. whose film production company makes commercials for brands like Adidas and Pennzoil. Well, they're steamed, and rightly so. They got sideswiped, and they are not the targets. We have seen bills in the many hundreds of thousands of dollars, and of course we've seen many bills in the tens of thousands of dollars. Many of those affected have no financial ties to the U.S., we don't have any offices in the U.S. And not only that, we're not allowed to open a bank account in the U.S. because we have no address there. A spokesman for Finance Minister Bill Morneau tells CBC Canada is still studying the issue, saying the Department of Finance is conducting detailed analytical work to consider the impact of U.S. tax reform. This work is expected to take several months. But the Hermans can't wait that long. Their first tax bill is due on June 15th. We're in this battle now. And we've got to get through it somehow, yeah. unscathed, yeah. if we can. We, and we need the help of the Canadian government to do that. They can't ignore this situation. Now, the Hermans could always just refuse to pay, but under the existing tax treaty, the Canada Revenue Agency could come after them to collect the money on behalf of the IRS. They continue to hope the U.S. Congress will fix the law, but they're not optimistic. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Ottawa.